What's up fellow Sapiens, this is Neo and in this video I want to share with you my experience of successfully completing Yosemite Step 2CK. I will explain the main changes, what to expect and I will give you a tip that really helped me. So first of all, I want to say that I am an international medical graduate and I'm going to Israel for a residency program in ophthalmology. One of the main requirements for residency in Israel is completing the Step 2K examination. For this purpose, I went straight taking Step 2 twice without taking Step 1, which was brutal. We all know by now that Step 1 is either pass or fail. You have prepared well for Step 1. You took your exam and you are happy with your result. Now we are good to go for step two. The thing is that you have made some progress for step two preparation and that's true because a big percentage, around 50% of the knowledge from step one will be used for step two preparation. And now they have made step two the most important and crucial and hardest examination of all. It has become the most important objective criteria to compare the students. So for those of you who don't need to take step one, but do have the time, take step one as well, because a good foundation of step one will definitely have a major impact on your step two preparation. Regarding the questions of step two, there won't be any single question with a straightforward answer. Honestly, throughout the examination, I don't remember any single time, maybe only two or three times that I felt my answer was correct 100%. You will never have that feeling that I'm, I'm sure, never. There will be two or three answers from each question that you might think as the correct answers, but what they ask from you is the next best step. So what's the next best step? You need to be fully prepared with your knowledge. You need to know that stuff by heart. And also you, you need to know the technique of answering these questions. And of the day of the exam, you go in and you pick the answer that most likely feels the correct one. So you cross out two or three answers that you think are wrong, then you are left with two or three more and you go with the best next step. So always remember, what's the best next step? Now, the main thing I want to talk about is that in step two, they have changed the number of questions regarding social sciences. Just to be clear here, no new content was added. The number of social science questions used to be only 5% of the entire exam but they have increased this number to 10-15%. These questions are about legal and ethical issues, professionalism and patient safety. And the question here is, do you need to consider this? Of course, the answer is yes, because if you do the math, out of the eight blocks in total, in each block there will be on average 4.5 questions regarding social sciences, and you don't wanna miss these points. The good thing is that most of them are common sense and thanks to you world and of course all the Q banks out there they are keeping up with this change and they are adding more and more questions for social sciences so in the end i will say first take your time to study and any material of social science you are not aware of either from you world in study mode or from anywhere else and then practice these questions with test mode on and at last, I would like to share with you my experience of how I managed to increase my score by 29 points in my second attempt of step two, which these can be summarized in three words. Questions, 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 really. The single most important thing in taking step two CK is to solve as many questions in test mode as possible. I cannot emphasize this more. You were is, is the king, Ampos is good as well, but if you have to choose one, then you world it is. In my first attempt, I went really slow and I didn't manage to solve as many questions as I was planning. But thanks to my tutor, which I used on my second attempt, I was always on schedule. I solved all the questions in you world and this made a huge difference. The thing is that you want to make your practice session as realistic as possible the exam will be. You want to solve one block after the other in test mode. I don't want to go into much depth on studying or preparing for this exam because I want to talk about it in another video. But one crucial thing to remember is that practice makes perfect. In the end, I never regret getting a tutor. If I went back, I would have done the same thing. You want to learn from the best because they did 
perfectly what you want to do, so it's worth paying them to teach you. It will save you time and increase your results. If you want to know anything about tutoring, just send me an email or comment below. And that's it guys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy, press the like button and see you the next time.